for the opening of the Project Pride. We invite you to travel together with us through cities and countries of the world to meet Kazakhstan people there, learn more about their life. We will go on a visit, we will plunge into their work, we will walk to their favorite corners of the cities they live in. But the main thing is that we set out on a journey to be inspired by their success. After all, the heroes of our program are bright and interesting people, and every story, every acquaintance is a swirl of impressions. Today in our program, Almagul Menlibayeva, Arts Without Limits. Hello, this is Bright, and we're continuing our journey to find the nomads who conquered the world, those who have achieved success in different parts of the world, but at the same time remain Kazakhstani people. And now our next destination is Berlin. Bright, Bright. The Bright project continues its journey through the Europe. And right now we are in Berlin, at the Alexander Platz. We came here to meet Almagul Menlibayeva. Here she is, a reason why we came here today. Hello. Hello. Let's start. Alma Gulman Libayeva was born in Almaty on November 29, 1969. In 1992, she graduated from the Almaty State Theater and Art Institute named after Timurbek Jorgenev, Department of Decorative and Applied Arts. Her artwork has been exhibited since 1995, largest solo exhibitions, Transformation, in Paris, France, 2016. My Silk Road to You, Miami, USA, 2016. Transoxiana Dreams, Ludwig Forum, Germany, 2014. Empire of the Memory, Ethnographic Museum, Poland, 2013. A Nord for the Wastelands and Gulags, Kunstraum Innsbruck, Austria, 2012. Daughter of Turan, Casal Solaric, Palma de Mallorca, Spain, Exodus, Wiesbaden, Germany, 2011, and many others. She is a winner of many grants and competitions, including the main prize at the international competition Kino der Kunst in Munich, 2013. Right now she works in Berlin, Brussels, Astana and Almaty. We met in the heart of the Eastern Berlin and the artist has chosen this place not by chance. World clock, which shows current time in all major cities of the world, is a symbol of the infinite flow of life. The Alexander Platz, with its people flow, conveys the spirit of a contradictory and very interesting city, which can be considered as an art object as well. Not always understandable, sometimes strange and very lively. You have been in Berlin for some time now. By the way, how long have you been living here? Well, I travel a lot, so I come here and then I leave the city. Basically three months. I generally do not live more than three months in any place. <laughs> so you're like a bird, the true nomad. Yes, well, like the nomad, but in fact because of my work, projects. I don't know whether it's part of the personality. Like in the situations with other heroes of the program during the preparation for the meeting with Almagul, the hardest part was to get her to make time for us out of her busy schedule. I was surprised to find out that she came to see us right from the airport. And today you literally came right after a plane. Yes, so the nomadic life does not stop. I had such a tough flight. I came from Kazakhstan and we're now making a project that has already begun and it is a residence for artists, Kazakhstan's young artists. I would like to use my experience because I know a lot how to find a place, how to understand what is happening and the residence is one of the most important things for the artist. Yes, there was a time when it was very difficult to make a residence because many institutions wanted as well. It often happens when the state pays money. That is, it also includes political relationships. 
это, это часто бывает, эм, когда государство э, как бы платит деньги. То есть это тоже политика. Connected to diplomacy. Yeah. But at the time, when I came here in 2003, it was difficult. So I know what it is like. Using the opportunity, I suggested organizing a residence for the Kazakh artists here. We decided to make it here in Berlin because it is a very interesting place. Well, I came from Kazakhstan with two curators. And in Kazakhstan, we have been in four cities. They are Almaty, Astana, Shymkent and Karaganda. The main ones. Yes, we looked there too. Met artists and their works. Now I'm basically working on it. I really like that project. By the way, how many artists came here? Three, and we're now waiting for another one, the fourth. In four months, another four will join us. Later, we will meet lucky young artists from different cities of Kazakhstan who got a residence in Berlin. Alma, as one of the founders of modern art in Kazakhstan, is now helping the development of young Kazakh fellow artists. We wanted to invite different artists, since Almaty has a lot of artists, and it is great. As an artist, I grew in Berlin, and I understand how important it is to have many centers around. Some subcultures develop, and then they unite. And talking into account that aspect, we paid attention to Astana, Karaganda, and Shymkent. All of that was needed. That is, it all requires a revision. Because when it was all formed, it formed in Almaty. I'm from Almaty and I know that there is maybe one center. I understand that it's not very good for the art because basically it can be used as an instrument. It needs to be more diverse and attract more people who would be interested. There are some forms of modern art that are interesting to a certain circle of people. Yes, and let's say there are some other kinds, and they do not seem to develop. In this respect, of course, I think that is necessary for other regions to participate as well. The fact that we met with one of the key representatives of Kazakhstan's contemporary art in Berlin is symbolic. The city is often called the capital of modern world art along with New York. The streets of Berlin look like endless art performance for every visitor, with a little more attentive look along a stop at a square or crossroads, and you can become a spectator or participant of the installation, art action and performance. Berlin has more than 170 museums, in addition to the numerous galleries and art centers. I wanted to say that many cities, communities, neighborhoods, quarters were often formed around the artists. Yes, sure, and the artists define the face of the city. Yes, of course. If we talk about Berlin or New York, let's take Berlin, since we're here now. It is very interesting because artists were the first to come here. 
not rich artists came to Berlin. It is interesting because there are a lot of small buildings where the artists are people who engaged in alternative format of creative work with no big business can take them for rent. And that's not expensive and is not furnished yet. So they come and develop the place. After they develop this place, other structures become involved. The state takes it under control. And since people go there often, it becomes popular. Alma Gul Menlibayev is one of Kazakh artists whose efforts and talent form the new art of Kazakhstan. During that time, in a young country that just became independent, a lot of things were newly formed, and Alma is undoubtedly one of those who have formed the image of young creative Kazakhstan. I hope you don't mind, if I call you a major artist. Of course, sure. Do you feel that you were one of the founders of modern art in Kazakhstan and that you were one of those artists who gave it an impetus and development? Together with other artists, of course. In general, the artist cannot exist alone. It's always the community, the environment, communication, positive and negative relationships, or competitive or friendly ones. In the 90s, in the end of the 90s, the beginning of 2000s. I was also in the group called Green Triangle. So, this experience gave me a lot. Sergei Maslov was my teacher. I was very lucky to have a lot of good friends, people who supported me. I really appreciate a lot of different teachers I had with different degrees of education. And thanks to them, I grew as a professional. The first European exhibition of Almagul was held in Amsterdam, and the city impressed her a lot. And what was the exhibition's theme back then? I know that you remember every exhibition because they like your children. At that time, I was painting. I used to make paintings that the shamans would have been doing. It was a period of shamanism, tangrianism. I discovered something like this. We had the Soviet Union after all, and then people were less religious. And that was the opportunity to study the spiritual texts, to discover sacral knowledge. It was very interesting. During that period, I did a lot. I drew masks, a mix between Indian, nomad and African. Yes, I was looking through the form. For me, it was a good and interesting period. Yes, somehow it ended. It is impossible to forget the first impressions. You cannot argue with this. But it is probably hard to avoid the comparison, especially in the beginning. It took some time to get used to Berlin. It took time to feel it and appreciate its difficult nature. With its kind of not European appearance, Berlin has many features that preserve the memory of the socialist period. The city is still young, changeable and mobile. And the artist is breathing easily here. You probably agree that it is not only mature wise calculation to feel what exactly will work and at what moment and what topics should be offered to the public in different cities. It is also important to feel, to catch the moment, and of course, inspiration. And it seems that Almagul has a great ability to foresee and make the right decisions. 
Бывали вспышки на какие-то темы тоже. Вот. Have you ever had such instant inspiration on some topics, like you immediately need to go there and do it? Of course. Yeah, sure, of course. It is like you need to do something, and if you don't, you will feel very bad. It is like absolutely necessary to do this. Well, it fails sometimes. It is not about how lucky the person is or how great is his intuition. It is about the work and the efforts. The reveal of this form is through a certain topic. When there is no one who understands you or supports you, nobody understands why you need that. It might seem to be easy. But in fact, the search can be different. But you definitely need to do something to move, not to stay in one place. And that's for sure. In general, what is more important for an artist? Some kind of a school or an idea? Altogether, it's impossible to separate the environment and the school. Everything is important. You and the people that surround you and your discipline. People who support you. Then, the right place, the right people, who will bring some kind of thinking. It seems to me that it is a mix of everything. I cannot say that it's this or that. That's about a symbiosis of things. By the way, this is a very beautiful museum. It used to be a railway station. It was a last station. In the 80s, it was turned into a museum. The collection is constantly evolving. Now there is an exhibition which is called Hello Old. It is very interesting. We came here with our artists from our residence. We looked at a very beautiful building and got inspired. I come here very often. It's very nice to sit here and meet people. Very good restaurant down there and a cafe. And they're not far from the central station. There are a lot of interesting places where you can spend time reading. It is a very interesting spot because it has the permanent collection and the changing exhibitions. The program is great. It is the Museum of Contemporary Art that is, reflects everything that is happening now in the modern world. There are many people here. Lots of people come with their families. It's like one of the important places and there are many such museums in Berlin. I think more than 175. So many museums in a relatively small city. Well, I would not say it is a small town. It is a big city. When it comes to art, especially modern art, museums show the past or present and they're being revised. One thing, you get an academic education, and another thing is that it is a part of your cultural leisure activities. So you come and get the knowledge that is constantly changing. That's exactly the function of the museums. So for both the artists and the viewers should not remain the one place. No, never. Even fashion does not remain the same. Or even food and phones. Did you mention the sausage museum? Yes, there is a sausage museum. Germans have a good imagination. We wandered the streets, looked at the stations and buildings, talked about art and its fate in the modern world. Shortly speaking, we were exploring the spirit of Berlin. Mm 
If you have never eaten sausages on the square, you may consider you have never been in that city. Have a nice meal. Later, we went to the art space Momentum, which is kind of creative space where Alma is based. It used to be a hospital, a Christian hospital, where nuns were treating people. After a while, it was occupied by artists. This is the house of arts right now, a temple, but generally... This is quite common practice in Berlin. Here we met with the Kazakhs, who got the opportunity to work and develop as artists under the supervision of experienced mentor Alma Gul and Rachel, the brain of this art space. Welcome to Momentum, uh, the global platform for time-based art. Here is our gallery, office, studio for artists. And we are now in a building called Kunstquartier Vitanien. This center was built in 1840. And it was built as a hospital and a school for nurses. And since then, a lot has been going on here. Now, it is our residence for Kazakh artists. Rachel and Alma Gul have been cooperating for several years and apparently very fruitfully. Rachel, even she's not an artist, willingly helps to promote talents. The support of this kind of manager worth a lot. Well, somehow we always have something to talk about. Never boring. That's right. Great. Communication with the artists can be complicated, but very interesting. You know, it should not be difficult. Complicated artists understand themselves poorly and somehow we don't have to work with the most difficult ones, we choose the best ones. And here they are. In this case it's great that the best one are our people from Kazakhstan, right? And they're even luckier since Alma Gul stands by them. She's a major artist who is always ready to support, instruct, assess and inspire. So how are you? Good. Yeah? How are you? Okay, good. What do you think about these works? Which ones? Have you looked any ideas? What do you think? What are your impressions? Generally, I don't know why, but for some reason I come up with an idea that I was not going to do it at all, mm -hmm. which I had once. I doubt it, but for some reason, when I came to Germany, to Berlin comes again. Babit Asim Kul is from Astana, and he came here with two more artists, Lili Akim from Karaganda and Eklas Shahi from Almaty. I spent almost all my conscious and to some extent unconscious life in Karaganda. But when I was a child, it was just a life. I did not realize anything absolutely, but today when I looked and saw that part of my pictures, a whole series was made using some kind of gray shades. I now see this. 
When I was in Karaganda, I did not see it. It seemed so beautiful. Just that monochrome shows up there. When I came to Almaty and I did a completely random series of works where I used to the color, and then when I went back to Karaganda, I realized suddenly this difference. That is when I was inside and I had no idea to leave. What we are talking about here is the energy of the past when Karaganda had a camp for political prisoners, for people with different nationalities. That energy is still present in the city. Representatives of different cities and different generations represent modern Kazakh art in the world. They're sort of ambassadors of Kazakhstan and they have brought here their own non-trivial view of the world, their love sometimes expressed incomprehensibly. We came with the support of the Kazakh Ministry of Culture and Sports under the special program of the National Museum and these are my works. I did my first work in a school of artists at Jester, which is held annually at the Arbat Festival in Almaty. This is my first work, which is a symbiosis of virtual and nature. Do you see a ship with a sail which reminds of the work of another artist? When the Kazakh people were seafarers, I painted it with white and drew the Windows logo and was so different from the space, so contrasting that it turned out to be something very organic thing that happens when, for example, a plant comes out of the asphalt. Here I think it is something like this. City flowers that grow through the asphalt. Yes, there was something similar to that. I feel like our young artists, they're just like those flowers that grow through asphalt towards the sky. Thank you. At the time of our meeting, the work at the residence just begun. Now everything is in full swing and a few more Kazakhs join the group. I guess we will see the result soon. Well, Almagul manages so much in addition to high creative activities. Working with young people and projects scattered around the world, her ability can be called an art as well. Thanks to her, we had another interesting meeting. Sade Turkas is a singer and artist known in many countries of the world. She is an ethnic Kazakh but was born and raised in China and now she lives in Switzerland. Watching their conversation gives an impression which cannot compare to anything since it is a mixture of Kazakh and English. So here we are. Yes. This is the place. Looks amazing. I thought it's just rocks. Yes. It's a very powerful place. The singing of Sardet is often called shamanic, but to feel it, it's a special atmosphere, of course, you need a moment of inspiration, a special condition. And just imagine, during the walk, we wandered into the monument to the memory of the victims of the Holocaust, a place with a challenging energy, and something just turned on. Almogo impressed me a lot. She's in the epicenter which gathers events and people. The artist looks at things easily and it may seem that a lot of things in her life happen on their own. But when you estimate how much she manages to do, then you realize that without self-discipline and hard work, all of that would be impossible. Soon Almagul Menlibayeva will present her new project in Astana. 
and we will be happy to meet her at any time in any city of the world, whether it's Paris, where we visited her transformation exhibition, Berlin, where she works with young creators from Kazakhstan and Brussels, New York and Astana. After all, our people are able to achieve success in any country in the world, but at the same time remain one of Kazakh people.